The end of Ted and Alexis. Or is it? Or is it? <laughs> Annie decides to open it back up. <laughs> challenge was how do you go about telling a compelling love story on a TV show where the end is two people who made each other better. Oof. We wanted it to just be, to, to honor the relationship for what it was and send them both on their way as better people. And um, loving each other very much. And loving each other very much. I'd like to think that we helped each other get here. I know that we did. And when you get on that plane tomorrow, I want you to know how grateful I am to have met you. I don't think I'm ever gonna meet another woman who made me feel the way that you do. Well, it was beautifully performed by Annie Murphy and Dustin Milligan. <laughs> beautifully performed. And you know, I think not to sort of uh, take this space and compliment our lovely cast, but that's a sort of very tricky thing to write in a comedy because it's, was real, it was a very real moment. And it's a testament to the strength of our cast that we can write these kind of scenes and know that they are protected and safe and still within the world of the show. So I was very pleased, I was thrilled. It was How also- How do you feel? Sad. <laughs> um. Especially because Dusty came in for like one day. Yeah. That's yeah. what I think helped the scene so much mm -hmm. is that that was actually one of our very last scenes that we ever did together. So it was a goodbye for the characters, but it was also a goodbye for Dustin and me. Because mm -hmm. um, you'll never see each other again. We'll never see each other ever again. <laughs> you guys were so composed. We were composed because it, I mean, I cried myself to sleep that night, but, um, <laughs> but it was, I think it was important to the story that it not be a terribly sad mm -hmm. goodbye because it was both of them as mature or semi-mature adults making this decision that's full of love and mm -hmm. full of respect mm -hmm. and knowing for each of them that it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Which is the thing that makes an audience cry because you're not, cry you're doing that good thing. Oh, I have goosebumps. <clears throat> Are you happy now, David? Is this what you wanted? You look. I look like a cheese puff. The pendulum swing is Noah in a spray tan that is so uh, horrifying. I mean. Orange as a Cheeto. Quite orange. What was so I good about tan. that episode is how serious you were. The more very serious, upset. very upset. And I could, like it was really funny. Well, it's not the first time on this show that my paleness has been, uh... Hey, hey, I've been called a, I've been called a vampire. When they were guessing who I was, a, a vampire, a ghost. No one wants to see these tiny boobies. No one, ti yes. Spooky. Oh, yeah. Spooky? So, you've looked like a thumb? I have, well, I do, I, when I read the thumb line, I was like, oh, that God. is bizarrely accurate. I thought so, too. I texted Dan. I looked at my thumb and was like, it's not wrong if you put some. And I think I, you had shot in the morning and I was shooting in the afternoon and coming into the lunchroom and then seeing Noah come into the lunchroom. I didn't know you guys were shooting that scene that day. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> and Noah, Noah was like, in, I guess, a very similar mood to Patrick. He was just like, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> and like walked away from me and sat at a different table. And I was like, okay, all right.